Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Okay, I have 18 big money Bolo vid videos. Why am I saying that today? Big money Bolos for you today. And these are items that I bought low and sold high. Items to be on the lookout for. And I have a story at the end of the video about one particular item that you guys are not going to believe. So be sure to stay tuned. Um, definitely a story you will not believe. Crazy. Um, so let's get started. I'm having camera issues. So this is what you're going to see. And I apologize for that. And it's mostly screen sharing. So that's good. All right, let me get my screen pulled up and we are going to get started here. So the first big money bolo item came out of a thrift store mystery box. And I will say that most of the items that I pulled out of this box were duds. And I have a video on it. I think that was, this came out of that big mystery box that I got. Um, it was huge. It was like a furniture box full of other boxes. So I sold this for $70. It's a Jim Shore Santa tree topper. And like I said, when I was going through those boxes, I was like, oh my gosh, am I going to make my money back? And then I looked this guy up and I was super excited and it sold super fast. So definitely be on the lookout. And when I first saw it, I kind of just dismissed it as, you know, nothing because it had this like barcode you can see right down there. And then I saw this and I looked it up and I was like, wow. And for some reason, they must not have made many of these because this one's highly sought after. The next item I sold is this Christopher Radko ornament. I picked this up at a garage sale for $5. I would have sold this for more if it did not have this. But what they did is they initialed and dated their ornaments. So um, yeah, kind of a bummer. But I sold this for $49 and the buyer paid the shipping. So it's an elephant on a ball for those of you watching or listening and not watching. The next item I sold is this Spode Christmas tree canister made in England. And I sold this for $44 and the buyer paid shipping. Picked this up at a garage sale. I believe it was $5. I will tell you this took a long time to sell. I have no idea why. Spode typically does good, but for some reason, I don't know if it's my title or what, but Spode can be good. But this was long tail, but I did make a nice profit. I had to wait on the correct buyer. The next item I sold is this Berkham bunny, another bunny. This one is green glass and I sold him for $88 and the buyer paid shipping. And if you guys don't know about these bunnies, you can check out that story on Primetime Treasure Hunters channel the thrift battle between Donatella Bodolino and I, I talk about these bunnies. So definitely go check that out. The next item I sold are these carolers. They are felt, they are inspected Japan. And I picked these up at a garage sale and the lady at the garage sale was an eBay seller. And I feel like she knew her stuff somewhat but everything was garage sale prices. So I don't know if she just bought this and didn't see the value in it, or maybe she listed it and didn't get any bites and decided to put it in her garage sale. But I paid $3 for these, you guys. And I saw them and I saw a win because I always pick up felt items made in Japan. If you haven't seen my made in Japan category below video, definitely go check that out. If you go into my videos and search Japan, um, it'll pop up and you can see uh, just different items that sell for big money that are made in Japan. I sold these for $44.55 and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item I sold is this Odyssey Two Ball SRT White Pot Putter. And I believe I had this like, I had it cross posted to Poshmark and um, Mercari. I cross post all of my items. I use list perfectly. You guys are interested in checking out a video on how List Perfectly works. Um, there is a video. Um, I've actually got several videos, but I'll pop one up at the end of the video. It'll show you different videos to click on, and you guys can click on that and check it out. Definitely, definitely worth cross posting. And this is a software, or I don't know what you call it, that helps you cross post quickly. It's amazing. Um, if you want to try it, you can use coupon code BOLOBUDDIES. 
That's an affiliate coupon code that will get you 30% off your first month of List Perfectly. Again, I cross post items to Mercari, Poshmark, Etsy, and Grailed from eBay. And there's different ways you can use the, um, you can use List Perfectly, but that's how I choose to do it. So definitely go check out that video. Um, so yeah, I think it was on Poshmark, the whole point of my story, that somebody messaged me and was said, I don't know, they weren't very nice about my putter here. And uh, so I was pretty excited when I sold it on eBay for $57.20 and the buyer paid shipping. I can't remember what they said, but um, I don't know if they thought I had it priced too high or it was something along those lines, but I sold it and it was a bolo. I think I paid $8 for this at a thrift store. Um, I'm not 100% certain what I paid for it, but I'm thinking $8. I know I got it at a thrift store. I think it's in one of my thrift video um, haul videos. The next item I sold is this Halloween witch bed spring. It's an artisan piece. It's signed by Jewel08 and it is awesome. And I had a subscriber and somebody who I've gotten to know through my Facebook group reach out to me and she was interested in the item. So um, I had sent out offers and she accepted an offer of 120 and I went ahead and gave her free shipping on that. So she got it for 120 with free shipping and it is a really, really neat, really neat piece. So um, I'm glad that found an awesome home. And this was a thrift store find. And it was a thrift store that I have to kind of drive to. And they have this area that has more of their high end. Um, I'm trying to think what they call it. They call it something like specialty items or something like that. And it was sitting there and it's still got the original tag on it from the artist. And it's just a really neat piece. The next item is this snake bangle coiled arm bracelet. This came from my, I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay bulk buy jewelry purchase. And if you guys want to know more about that, I've got some videos on it. Um, it was 344 pounds of jewelry. I took a best offer on this for $40 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold. Okay. So this also came from a thrift store that is about probably 45 minutes from my house. And these items were behind the counter. And I do have a video on this as well. Um, when I actually picked them up and they were priced kind of high and, um, I guess after I figured out what they were worth, they really weren't priced high. But to me, like I'm super cheap and I'm always looking for a deal. So they seemed high. Um, I'm going to guess that when it was all said and done, I had about $10 each in them. I can't remember exactly. You guys can go check out that video if you want to know for sure. But somebody reached out to me and wanted these four items. I had them listed separately and I think it would have been like five or $600 but they offered me 340 for four of them. And with what I have in them, I was like, you got it. And I believe this went internationally. So these are Finn Hold Bears. They're mohair, they're jointed, and they're limited edition. And they are super cool. Um, like some of them, let's see, like this, there were only 20 of this one made. So if I would have held out and waited on the right buyer, I probably could have gotten more money for these. But like I said, I probably got, 50 bucks or less in all four. And I sold them for $340 plus shipping. The next item I sold is this Estee Lauder Dazzling Silver Perfume. I pick perfumes up at garage sales, thrift stores. Uh, I usually don't pay very much for them because I usually just buy whatever they have. And at garage sales, they're usually priced cheap. And I just buy them without even knowing. And this one ended up being really good. And it sold pretty quick. Um, I don't know. I don't know why some do better than others. I guess, you know, they're discontinued and people just love them. But this is almost full, but it's not very big. I usually do this just to show people the actual size. So, you know, like when you look at this picture, you're like, hmm, I wonder if that's a big bottle. And I put 0.5 fluid ounces in the title. But I think some people, you know, they if they get that visual with the tape measure, I don't know. That, that's just what I do. So I sold this for $70 plus shipping. The next item I sold is this Halloween Empire Blow Mold. This came out of a mystery box. And if you guys have watched any of my mystery box videos, most of the items get redonated. And I told you guys I was never having a garage sale. Guess what Courtney did? She had a garage sale. Um, 
I had donated a bunch of stuff, but I still had some stuff left. So I went ahead and had the garage sale. But this is one of the items that I was excited about that I pulled out of a mystery box. And I sold this for $40 and the buyer paid shipping and it sold pretty fast. And this is a tabletop size. It's not really big, you guys. It's just a small one. The next item I sold is this Disney princess tea set. Now I paid up for this guys. I paid $10 for it at a garage sale. And you guys know me, $10 is paying up. And I sold this like super fast. I think it was like within a couple of days and I sold it for a best offer of $85 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage signed art, smiling Asian Buddha pendant necklace. This also came out of my bulk buy. I want to say I got 344 pounds. 344 pounds. And I think it was like 170 or $180. So a ton of stuff. And I have a video where I go and pick it up and a video where I weigh it. So check that out. But a subscriber reached out to me and said it was in one of my unboxing videos. They're like that Buddha. And I was like, Okay. And then I looked it up and I'm like, whoa, these things go for big money. Um, so I did list it and then I let the subscriber know, but um, there was actually somebody who had one listed and they spelled Buddha wrong and they had it listed for, I don't know, like $65. So I went ahead and sent the subscriber the link to that one because I wasn't going to sell mine that low. And I would rather you can, you know, you guys get a good deal if you can, because 65 was a great deal. So this is another item that sold super fast and I took a best offer of $95 and the buyer paid shipping. And he's kind of big for a pendant. He's like two and a half inches, but definitely an interesting piece. The next item I sold is this vintage plastic horse with a saddle. It's hard to find. It's rare. The reason I said that is because I could not find any comps on it. Um, it turns out that this was a briar horse. It was not marked. I don't know how that works, but the person left me feedback and they said, thank you so much for the briar horse. And they called it like some special name. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what did I just sell? Cause some of those briar horses can go for huge money. And I was thinking that maybe I gave away a horse that's worth like hundreds of dollars and I sold it for 45, but I think I did okay. I don't think the saddle was original to the horse. So maybe that's why I was having trouble when I was doing like a image search, but I couldn't find it, but he called it exactly what it was in his feedback. So um, this sold for $45 plus shipping, picked it up at a garage sale for like a buck. The next item I sold are these Lane Bryant jeans. And the reason I am showing you guys this is because they sold fast. I sold them for $40. I have a closet full of clothes that need listed. And one day I was like, you know what? I'm going to list some of those clothes. And so I'm going to consider $40 a bolo. I paid around $3 for these. I, I can't give you an exact price because I would buy so much at the same time. And then I would just take the total and divide it out. Um, some items were more, some items were less, but I just always think in my mind, I've got about $3 in my clothes. So sold it for $40 and the uh, buyer paid shipping. And I got those at a discount store. The next item is this Summer Hill uh, body mist. I think this came from a thrift store or a garage sale, not sure. Um, I sold it for $39.60 and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item I sold is this dollhouse furniture. Um, it's plastic. It's not super fancy. And I could have probably sold it in small lots, but you know, the condition wasn't great on some of it. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to sell it and let somebody else do that, that work. Cause I didn't want to mess with it. So I took a best offer of $38 and the buyer paid shipping. And I want to say that was a garage sale that I got that at. I can't remember. Yeah, I think a garage sale. The last item, and here is the story you've all been waiting for. So this doll came in a mystery box. And when I say mystery box, it was just a box of toys. And I actually have a video on it. And I had no clue, you guys. She was naked. And I threw her up on eBay in a bulk... Um, Barbies, Disney. She did say Disney on her neck, but I didn't know it was Melody. So 
I put her on eBay <laughs> and a lot of um, dolls right before bed. I was like, I'm just going to get these listed real quick and I'm just going to put it on an auction and I'm going to go to bed. And before I went to bed, somebody sent me an offer and I want to say, I don't remember what the offer was. I don't want to say because I don't remember and I'd just be making it up. So, but it was under a hundred dollars and it was for all of these Barbies and Disney dolls. And she's like, I only want the melody and then the doll with the pink dress on. And I'm like, Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but as a reseller, when somebody asks for something specifically, I'm going to look it up. So I went into eBay and I looked up Disney Melody doll and I could not believe my eyeballs. I was so excited. Um, so I ended the listing and I was like, I have the mermaid tail in all of the Barbie clothes. So I went and I found the, the Barbie um, or the mermaid tail. I pulled the pink dress off the other Barbie that she wanted because she wanted the pink dress for this doll. And I put it together and created this listing. And this is what she looks like, you guys. I mean, who would have guessed that this is a $220 Barbie or mermaid Ariel doll? Is that crazy or what? This is how she was in the lot. And her head was just like peeking out and they saw it and... You know, um, it's just one of those things where, you know, if somebody's asking about something when you have stuff lotted up, stop, take a minute and look it up. Um, this has happened to me twice now. So I'll have, um, the other one was for another toy and it was in a lot of toys. So definitely number one, be on the lookout for this very rare Melody doll. And number two, if you have a lot of items listed, and somebody messages you about a specific item, they may just want that specific item and it may just be just that, but it doesn't hurt to look it up. So that is my story. And there's gonna be some other videos that are gonna be popping up shortly. Click on one of those, check out another video. The list perfectly video should pop up if I remember to add it. And again, the affiliate coupon code is thir for 30% off list perfectly for the first month is Bolo Buddies, all one word. And thanks for watching.